Hi guys, welcome to this 10th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use a relay. A relay is an electromagnetic switch that is used to switch high power circuit using low power circuit. Relays isolate as well low power circuit from high power circuit. This is good especially for safety reasons. A section of the circuit with high dangerous voltage or current could be isolated from the user. Relays come in different type and shape. These figures here shows a typical electromagnetic relay but it can come in different types and shapes as well. This is electrical symbol of a relay. This is the lowest power section. When a low voltage is applied to the relay, to the coil of the relay, this coil becomes a magnet, which in turn energizes the soft ion core, which in turn closes the contact or open the contact of the relay. In this typical demonstration, if I close switch one, then I'm gonna have current going through the coil of the relay. This in turn become a, becomes a magnet and energizes this iron core, which in turn closes the normally open contact of the relay. This in turn closes the high power section of the circuit. The high power section could be anything depending on the applications. It could be 12 volt, it could be 220 volt AC, depending on the contact rating of the relay. This is a nice feature because a small power, especially from the peak microcontroller, could be used to control the relay and in turn the relay could switch on heavy load which could require more current or voltage that the microcontroller is able to supply. In these applications, let's say you, you want to control a 12 volt fan, a peak microcontroller works with only 5 volt, so a relay could be used to control the 12 volt section of the fan, even a 220 volt if a 220 volt relay is used. Generally, a single pole double throw relay has five terminals. Two terminals are used to energize the coil of the relay, and the other three are the controlled switch to switch a control device which is connected to the relay. The three terminals are the common terminal, the normally open and the normally closed terminal. When the coil of the relay is not energized, the armature will be connected to the normally closed terminal. If you want to connect a device that will always gonna be on when the relay is not energized, then you can connect it to the common and the normally closed terminal of the relay. This could be something like this. If I run my circuit, you're gonna see my fan. It's running while my relay is not energized because my fan is connected to the normally closed terminals of the relay. Connect it back to normally open. There are a few parameters one has to consider before selecting a relay to ensure safety and proper operation. The first parameter is the coil ratings. This is the low voltage required to energize the relay. Some relays operate with DC voltage of 5 to 12 volt, drawing current from 50 milliamp to about 100 milliamps. The next parameter to consider when selecting a relay is the contact ratings. These ratings are for the high voltage current terminals of the relay. The commonly used contact ratings are the maximum voltage and the current it can handle continuously. If for example a relay is rated 220 volt 16 amp, it basically means it can handle up to 220 volt and the maximum load current is 16 amp. No device with higher voltage or current ratings, then the relay should be connected to the relay, otherwise it could be damaged. The other important parameter when selecting a relay is the enclosure and the mounting. The type of an enclosure used depends on the operating environment and the required mounting method. 
When using a peak microcontroller to control a relay, this is a typical connection how a relay could be connected to a peak microcontroller. If possible, the relay should always be powered by a separate power supply, enable a connection of relay requiring different voltage, like for example a 12 volt relay which is different from a 5 volt supply to the microcontroller. In this demonstration, the microcontroller will switch on the transistor Q1 when PRP0 is high, which in turn will switch on the relay. Anything connected to the contact of the relay can thus be switched on and off, like this 12 volt fan in this demonstration. When RB0 of the microcontroller is high, this transistor will be switched on and in turn is going to switch on the relay and anything connected to the terminals of this relay will be switched on. Some relays operate with DC voltage of 5 volt to 12 volt drawing current of about 50 milliamp to 100 milliamp. As this current is obviously higher than the maximum 25 milliamp that each pin of the microcontroller is able to supply. That is why a relay should never be connected directly to a peak microcontroller. A transistor circuit like this one can be used. Note that we used a back EMF suppression diode across the relay contact. This diode is called freewheeling diode. The role of this diode is to prevent the damage of the transistor from the back EMF generated from the relay coil when the relay switches off. Let us go to MPLab project and create a simple project to control our fan. When this switch is going to be closed, then the fan is going to start rotating. And when I'm going to open the switch, then the fan is going to stop. We've already created a simple project. We started with our configuration bit. We use the internal oscillator of the peak 18F2220 and we did not use a reset section. So the MCLR is going to be disabled in the code. This is, this is our configuration bit. By now you should be able to generate your own configuration bit depending on the type of peak that you are using. This is our main source file. We named it relay. The first thing we did is to include our configuration bit. We define start equals to 1 and stop equals to 0. We set RB0 as an output pin and RC0 as an input pin. RB0 is where we connected our transistor. It's set to output pin and RC0 is set to input pin so that it's going to be able to read our switch. We use the internal oscillator at 8 MHz and in our while one loop it's straightforward we only need two lines the first is to check if our switch is closed because if our switch is closed as you can see from this demonstration when I run my circuit I've got 5 volt directly to RC0 so when I close my switch then the voltage is gonna go straight to ground then I'm gonna have 0 on RC0 pin. This is basically what we are reading. If RC0 equals to 0, meaning switch is closed, then I'm gonna send a 1 to B0. A 1, we define it as start. And else, if my switch is open, then I'm gonna send a 0 to my B0. My 0 is defined as stop. And the circuit is gonna loop continuously. Let us build our project, build, build successful. Let's go to our circuit design. We've already loaded our X file, start the simulation. The switch is open. We have zero on RP0. Our transistor is off. Our relay is de-energized. Close our switch. Then I've got a one on RP0. There is a current flowing through the transistor. My relay is energized and my fan is switched on. If I switch off my switch, then the relay is going to go off and my fan is going to switch off. Thank you guys for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorials. Thank you.